impact of jet. In this experiment, a water jet will be deflected through three targets, one at 90 degrees, one at 120 degrees, and one at 180 degrees. Knowing the velocity and the flow rate, you could calculate the momentum of the fluid, and that's going to be balanced by external forces. What we see in front of us here are the targets. Here is the 90 degree target. You can see that it is going to be perpendicular to the flow. This is our 120 degree target. And lastly, our 180 degree target. Up here we have our masses. This is a 10 gram mass, a 20, and two 50s. These are the masses that we're going to use to balance our target. Let's take a look at the apparatus. This is the hydraulic bench that we're going to use for this experiment. The hydraulic bench is a very versatile piece of equipment. We could use it for many different experiments. But as you can see, we have the impact of jet apparatus already in place. Looking at the apparatus itself, we could see that we have the 180 degree, 80 degree target in place. The approximate vertical distance between the exit of the nozzle and the datum of the target is approximately four millimeters. In this image here, we could see that the weight pan is approximately balanced with the level gauge. We are going to turn the machine on and put an initial mass of 20 grams on the pan. And we're going to adjust the flow rate so that we balance our, uh, our external forces. On the side here, we can see a sight gauge to measure the volume in the hydraulic bench, the volume of water in the hydraulic bench. If we want to measure the flow rate, what we do is we simply drop the plug into the hole by just adjusting the chain and then timing how long it takes to fill a certain volume over time. And from there, we can calculate our flow rate. So what I'm going to do is take the bench over to the tap fill it up with some water and then we'll turn it on and then we'll be able to proceed with the experiment and take some measurements. In order to change the target, let me demonstrate. The target simply unscrews, and then we can put on the next target. The most interesting target is the 180 degree, so that's the one that I'm going to leave on for this demonstration. Okay, now I'm going to turn the pump on and we'll balance with the 20 gram mass. Here I have the 20 gram mass. I'm going to place that on the weight pan. Notice how it's deflected a little bit. I have the valve open a little bit on the pump. I'm going to turn the pump on and then adjust the flow until it balances right on the level. Now that 
that we have it balanced, we can measure our flow rates. The next mass is 60 grams. So I'm going to remove the 20. Add a 50 and a 10. Adjust the flow rate. Now we'll take the measurements from our tank. And our final is 120 grams. That's 100, 120. Adjust the flow rate. And again, we'll take our measurements to measure that flow rate. In the hydraulic bench, there are two reservoirs, the small reservoir and the large reservoir. In order to measure the flow rate, I'm gonna use the values for the small reservoir for this, this setting. So I'm going to plug the hole and start recording now. So we're going to record the length of time that it takes to collect six liters of water. In order to get a more accurate picture, you can use the larger reservoir and collect for a longer period of time. There we go.